Hello everybody, I am again back with my online video class. Now before I start my class, I have one request to all of you that if you like my lecture and the presentation, please do subscribe my channel. The topic that I am going to teach is called materials of the earth crust. I am going to deliver lecture on this topic in three consecutive parts. In the first part, I am going to teach you about the basic concept of rock and minerals. Now before I teach you in detail about rock and minerals, you have to understand the concept of lithosphere. This particular word is made up of two Greek words. One is called lithos, another one is called sphere, where lithos means rock and sphere means surface. So we can say lithosphere means rock surface. So, we can define lithosphere as the rigid outermost shell of a terrestrial type planet like earth. So, the crust of the earth or lithosphere is subdivided into two parts. One is called continental crust or the land surface. Another one is called oceanic crust or the bottom of the ocean the part of the crust that lies under the ocean water and again I will repeat that lithosphere is mainly composed of rocks with a thin surface layer of soil. Now what is rock? Rock may be defined as all those materials which form the crust of the earth whether hard like granite or soft like clay, gravel or sandstone. A rock is an aggregate of minerals, sometimes cheaply or entirely of single species as in case of rock salt and limestone and more commonly of two or more different minerals. The second definition was given by Tar and Martin. Now from these two definitions we can draw the conclusion that rock is an important part of the earth crust. Rock may be hard as well as soft. A rock is an aggregate of minerals. However, there are some rock that composed of only one type of mineral like rock salt and limestone. Now, what is mineral? Mineral are generally crystalline in appearance and they are homogeneous in form and they are in turn, in turn made up of different types of chemical elements. So, so substances which are made up of different type of chemical element are called mineral. We can say mineral as a compound. There are 2000 kind of known minerals exist on the earth. Now I am going to explain about those chemical element which forms the mineral and this chemical element are important part of the earth crust. They occur majorly in the earth crust. Like you can see in the pie diagram, oxygen, silicon, aluminium, iron, calcium, potassium, sodium, magnesium, etc. are the chemical elements that making up different type of minerals and also occurring in the crust of the earth. Now out of all these chemical element, oxygen and silicon are most abundant in the earth crust. Therefore in the earth crust silicates are the most common mineral. Why? Because silicate are formed due to the combination of oxygen and silicon which are the most abundant elements in our earth crust. Now I will give you example of some silicate minerals, feldspar, mica, olivine, quartz and pyroxene. These are example of some silicates mineral. Besides the silicate minerals you can also find the mineral like calcite, dolomite, gypsum and rock salt 
in the crust of the earth and all these minerals play an important role in forming the rock difference between rocks and mineral what are the basic difference that we can draw between rocks and mineral first of all rocks are aggregate of minerals and minerals are made up of chemical elements rocks are heterogeneous by nature because they are mixture of different type of minerals in a rock mineral does not present in a fixed proportion on the other hand minerals are homogeneous by nature why they are called homogeneous because in a mineral there are chemical elements which are at fixed proportion minerals are actually compound so with this i end my first part of the video lecture on the topic materials of the earth crust in my upcoming video i am going to deliver the second part of this video lecture that is classification of rock now if you have any problem in understanding any part please do message me in my whatsapp number that is 62908111 or you can do one thing you can post your comment or queries in the comment box of my youtube channel thank you